We need a plan that's going to make investments in our community to keep our people out of jail. Standing outside the offices of New York City Councilwoman Diana Ayala, grassroots community organizers who stand to be impacted most by City Hall's push to shut down Rikers Island and create a borough-based jail system spoke out. For the Bronx, it would mean building a jail at this tow pound located at 745 East 141st Street. Diana, don't abandon the community that puts you into office. Think about the baby. Stand with us. City Councilwoman Diana Ayala, pressing for public hearings scheduled this week, did not comment on the protests that included residents of the Diego Beekman homes located just blocks away, a community that worked decades with the NYPD to rid its streets of gang violence. Sonia Taylor, a lifelong resident, is protesting the proposal. Why would you put a jail right there and it's a school right there? The schools are Mother Hill Academy Elementary School and Samuel Gompers High School. Why waste all these resources that could be put in the community to actually prevent people like me to go to pr going to prison. From advocating for resources to instead be applied towards education and after school programs, others were there to rally to protect a neighborhood on the comeback after years of decline. Leslie Liga has been a homeowner here for 18 years and said this about the mayor's plan. I don't think that he should put it in uh, the middle of people's homes, schools. Um, that is not going to help our community at all. We've been trying to bring the crime down and we were we're doing a great job, but our biggest enemy, I think, is the city. After this week's formal hearing at Borough Hall, the city will review comments made in each borough before making a decision. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.